For this video, we will be showing you our short vacay to Johor Bahru, Malaysia over the weekend. So last 23rd of April, we went to Johor Bahru, Malaysia since border has opened between Singapore and Johor Bahru. And we came in the customs at around 6.30 a.m. And then entered JB around 7 o'clock a.m. And here we are, finding our way around Johor Bahru. We're a bit early, so the, the stores are still closed at this hour. So the first place in our itinerary for the morning will be the Jalan Tan Hyokni or the old JB town where this famous bakery, Hyapju Bakery can be found. So you can see the queue is quite long at this hour. They're all queuing for the famous banana cake. You have to hold this with the since it's still early in the morning we walk around the area for a while looking at the old buildings and some shops and stores although most of them are still closed So for breakfast, we went to this cafe called Kopi Loco. Uh, we ordered coffee, toast, and kwai chow. After breakfast, we went cafe hopping uh, on the other side of the street called Jalan Dobi. So our first stop is this cafe called Flower in the Window or Flower by the Window. This is how it looks from the outside. Power by the window in Jalan Dobi in Do Dobi Gor <laughs> Johor Bahru. That's ice latte, and then I have here ice mocha. No sugar. Okay. So after flowers in the window, we went to this very old bake shop in JB called Salahuddin Bakery. So this is one of the, I think the oldest as I mentioned, with old school type of baking bread.
Once you enter the bakery, you can see a lot of old school bakery supplies and equipments such as this oven. And they have a few selection of baked goods, but I think their most popular are the curry puff and sardine puff. They also buying a few curry puff from Salahuddin Bakery. Our next stop is this cafe called The Replacement Lodge and Kitchen. So we're having another round of coffee because JB is known for their hip and affordable coffee shops. So this is how the interior of the Replacement Cafe looks like. And I must say that their coffee are a bit pricey compared to the flowers in the window. This is hand brewed coffee. So you just have to pour it. Akala ko gagawin mo sa... Ano yan? About the coffee. Hambela Oramia Gucci. Oh, from Ethiopia. Yung beans. Kala ko ikaw yung mag- Okay, let's try. You try. Hot ba yung pinin na mo? Mmm! Mmm! How is it? Can I try? Ah, oh, sige. Uh, it's on the sour taste of coffee. For lunchtime, we went to this Filipino restaurant called Kerry's Filipino and Asian Cuisine because we miss Filipino food. Sisig and Dinuguan in JB. What can you say? After lunch, we check into our hotel to rest for a while, take a bath, and then go out again. resting for a while and taking a quick bath we went to Johor premium outlet which is a bit far from the town area and if you have enough time in JB you must visit it and a lot uh, more time in this area because there's a lot of stores here they're offering a lot of discounted prices so if you're into branded items you must visit this place.
Johor Premium Outlet, we went to Pasar Borong Pandan City to check out the items and food sold at a local Pasar Malam in Johor Bahru. I think Pandan City has one of the largest pasar or market around the Johor area and this place alone is quite big in terms of the market area dry and wet market It's a bit crowded around the time that we reach the Pasar Malam because uh, this is the time where our Muslim brothers and sisters are breaking their fast. So they're all there to have their feel. So it's a bit crowded. So after going around the Pasar Malam, we went straight back to our hotel to enjoy our tapau food and the next day we mostly spent it inside the KCL city mall and then went back to Singapore around lunchtime to avoid the long queue at the customs. So we hope you enjoy this video of ours touring Johor Bahru, Malaysia and thank you for watching!